This tutorial is to know about uh, JSP tags, JSP scriptlet, expression, comments, and declaration tag. We create a new project which is named as project one. Select generate web.xml deployment descriptor. We add two files. One is HTML file, another JSP file. Right click on the project one and select HTML file index.html and add JSP file which is named as generate pattern generate pattern.jsp page in this JSP program we are going to use the different JSP tags like expressions scriptlets and comments and declaration JSP application is used to generate a pattern so we have a client side index.html which is used to accept the number of lines to be generated we create a form in the form the method is written as post post method and action the name of the JSP page that need to be called which is generate pattern.jsp This JSP application is to generate a pattern, binary pattern in zeros and ones in right angle triangle. So it may start with either zero or one to the right angle the triangle, either zero or one. We have to generate the binary pattern. Now in order to accept the number of rows, we create an input text box input type equal to text the name of the text box is t1 and we create a submit button which is named as print binary pattern We are writing the logic for printing the binary pattern for generating the binary pattern inside the scriptlet tag. Scriptlet tag starts with less than and percentage symbol and ends with percentage and greater than symbol. In the scriptlet tag, we can include any Java executable statement in the JSP page. By using the scriptlet tag, we can include any Java executable statements in the JSP page. We are writing the logic for generating the pattern inside the scriptlet tag by using a try catch block. In the catch, we are displaying the error message by using e.get message. Now, in the try block, we write the logic for generating the binary pattern. First, we have to accept the value from the text box. Our text box is named as T1. So we can get the value from the text box by using request. Request is an implicit object of JSP page that can be used directly. Request is an implicit object of HTTP servlet request and get parameter method can be used to get the value from single value control text box T1 and the value will get converted into integer and store into a variable n. Then after that we are including an hypertext tag that is used to go back to the home page. To go back to the main page we use a hypertext by using anchor tag anchor tag a href index.html which is the home page and click here is a hypertext by using two uh, nested for by using a nested for loop we are printing the binary pattern in right angle triangle number of lines which is required is n so we repeat a for loop 
with index i which is for uh, number of rows so starting from 1 to n and number of rows in each rows we have to print i number of elements so uh, another loop for loop for number of elements to be printed which is starting from 1 till i now while we are printing we have to print the binary pattern either 0 or 1 so we use a modulus operator mode 2 so mode 2 if we perform we get the result which is the remainder after performing division by 2 so it will be either 0 or 1 so first we add the value of i and j so at the first time the value of i and j will be 1 1 in the first row so 2 mode 2 it will print 0 so this binary pattern will start printing from 0 0 right angled triangle it will print right click on the html file and run the file so we enter the number of rows so if you enter the number of rows as 4 it will print the pattern so the entire pattern is getting displayed in a single line because we have not used the br tag so in order to do the line break we have to use the br tag so after completing the inner for loop that means after completing the display of one row after completing the inner loop we have to write we have to include the br tag so br tag can be included by using out dot printer length br which will makes the line break after one row of printing so this is right angle to triangle binary pattern starting from zero zero right angle to triangle so if you want one right angled triangle so we can write i plus j minus 1 mode 2. So the first case when i and i, I and j both are 1 1 so 2 i plus j is 2 2 minus 1 is 1 1 mode 2 it will print it as 1. So it will start from 1 execute and see the program output. So we can see that it is starting from 1 which is binary pattern starting with 1 right angled triangle now if you want to make the random color changes on this binary pattern we have to use some font tags some html tags need to be used while we are displaying this element so for that purpose we are splitting this entire logic what we have written inside the scriptlet tag into two part so first before displaying we close the scriptlet and the rest of the part is included in another scriptlet so we have two scriptlet part the first portion with two inner loop uh, with two loops and uh, before displaying we close the tag and after the display we again start the remaining part of the scriptlet tag now see about comment comments are used to write some informations regarding our page so it starts with less than percentage and two hyphen symbol and two hyphen symbol followed by percentage and greater symbol can be used for stop closing the comment inside that we can write any set of statements that forms as a comment for the JSP page now we are using a declaration tag to declare some variables declaration tags will start with less than percentage and an exclamatory mark and it will end with percentage and greater than symbol two variables are declared inside declaration tag rgb which is initialized as zero which is used to create random colors for our pattern so inside the inner loop we Generate random numbers for R, G, and B by using math.random method. Math.random method will generate random numbers starting from 0 to 1, any random number in between 0 and 1. So to generate the color, we have to multiply that with 255 and convert into integer. So we get some random numbers from 0 to 255 for R, G and B. Every time it will generate some random number. So by using this random number, we can change the font by using font tag. 
So we got some color value, random color value starting from 0 to 255 for red, green and blue. And this value can be used for changing the font color. So we are using an expression tag. Expression tag need to be written in single line statement. Starts with less than percentage equal followed by a value that need to be displayed. So we have to display the value for pattern is I plus J mode 2 or I plus J minus 1 mode 2 depending upon we have to start with either 0 or 1. Now before displaying the pattern the value of the pattern either 0 or 1 we need to change the font so we start the font font tag before displaying the value and after displaying the value we close the font tag now in the font tag we have an attribute which is named as color the color attribute can be mentioned with a constant color value or by using an rgb function so we can mention rgb followed by the values of red green and blue if you write a constant value directly so it will give a single color but we want random colors so we already generated random numbers from 0 to 254 for, for R, G and B and that need to be mentioned in RGB function. So we use an expression tag for displaying the value of R, G and B inside RGB method. So whatever random number is generated for R, G and B that will get displayed at RGB method. So it will create a random color. After that we are also changing the size of the font as 10. So we have two scriptlet tag we have used in this example for executable statement. This is an expression. These are the expression tag which is used to display some value and declaration tag for declaring variables for defining functions defining class and that is comment execute and see the program you can see the pattern binary pattern right angle to triangle is displayed with random colors program in this application we have used jsp tags scriptlets declarations, expressions, and comment.